Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we will be opening up a 2022-2023 uh, Series 2 Mega Box here. This is the one exclusive to Target here. Uh, includes one Red Raymo Honor Roll card per box. Uh, also includes the one if you can see here, one of the rookie class bonus packs. So yes, 11 total packs here. Again, want that one or 10 normal packs with one being the rookie class bonus pack. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this open up, seeing what we can get today. Because uh, in our last video, we opened up those two blaster boxes. They were not very great. We did not... Uh, Get a good standout young guns in those two boxes. So hoping for a little bit of a reprieve with this mega box here. So we should be getting at least two young guns in this, if not a third. There is more of a chance for a third in this particular product. We'll see how that goes. But uh, like I said, hoping for a little better outcome than what we had uh in the last video so get all, all of our packs here oh. missing two of them here all right toss that box off to the side and let's get things rearranged a little bit and we'll start breaking on open to this all right we'll start with these uh rookie class pack uh three card pack here i think uh we had opened one of these for what the mega box for series one we had we had uh, done earlier. Uh, these hold a little bit of value, but uh, I think they're a little bit better than usually the uh, was it the gloss rookie Opeachy ones, but still lower valued rookie cards here. There is I think like a red variation and the normal variation here. So starting off here, they that's not a bad name. To start things off with. With uh, Wyatt Johnston, if my autofocus can, there we go, Wyatt Johnston, start off here, again, I believe they come in red and white standard base there, Brent Clark, that's not a great name, these will all generally be pretty good names here, and Jack Wynn, really good, so I don't think we got a red variation out of that one, that's okay, but uh, Solid names there, but we'll start off here with uh, one of our first standard packs and hoping for the best here. Okay, and we're starting off with a pack that's, I don't know what's going on there. I guess they, okay, well, we're starting here, Yanni Gord, I guess. I got him flipped upside down and all around here. We got two Jacob Four checks. <laughs> oh, they really messed that up a little bit there. Okay, we're upside down, so we'll get it back up here. We got Mads Sogard as our first like insert pool with uh, honor roll card here of his. So as our first like insert hit. Then continuing on here. Come on, autofocus, please. Pagu, Gus Despair, Cam Atkinson, and ending off with Craig Anderson. All right, second pack up here. Okay, upside down. Come on, autofocus. You're being really difficult today. Okay. So we got Gust of Nyquist, Nick Suzuki, Charlie McAvoy, Jake, uh, was it Cape? And we got our first insert here upside down. It's Artemi Panarin of the Rangers. Interesting shot there. 
It's like some type of press conference thing going on. Continuing on with our main cards here with Camp, uh, Carlo, ending off with Adam Fox. All right. All right, next pack up. Oh, we are, man, we're we're having all kinds of issues with these packs today. All right, so let's see here, Grandland. We got McCabe again. Let's see here. We got uh, McAvoy, Suzuki. And right behind that, we get a world class or world junior grads, excuse me, of Philip Forsberg of the Nashville Predators, class of 14. Very cool. So, so far, no young guns yet. Thing off with Jarvis there. Let's pack up. Yeah, they, it seems like they messed up the order in these packs here a little bit. Half the pack flipped upside down. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Well, it is what it is, so. Oh, yeah, we got, we got uh, Kako. Just Baron. Right, Nugent Hopkins, Brian Rust, and we get our first young gun there of Nick Herbix out of the Tampa Bay Lightning. I believe, uh, yes, defenseman here, number 478. He's become more of the, I think he was a pretty mainstay here for their. Uh, First uh, round playoff uh, exit, uh, they, they, he was definitely on there um, as a mainstay. Um, $3 value here from what it says. He's already 24 years old, former sixth round, 169th pick overall in 2017. Um, amateur production was uh, slightly above average, along with uh, his NHL production has been slightly above average. 24, though, already. Um, not sure how much upside is left for for Nick here, but uh, we'll take it. So that is our first young gun pull for this box. Continuing on, base checklist, and off with Bergeron. Are all the I guess the like I said, all these packs are going to be upside down here halfway through. <laughs> okay, so. Yanni Gord, Swayman, Base Checklist, Bo Horvat, and we do get our second young gun here of <laughs> Cole Reinhardt. Oh yeah, Cole Reinhardt, another not so great one. Um, again, I think he's what 23 years old. Was uh, another what one to two dollar young gun. Uh, not the greatest there, so but we'll take it there. All right. So that might be our second old young gun, but we do have five more packs to go. So who knows? Maybe we'll get a a good young gun here at least. At least have a chance for a third one. We'll see though. That's kind of disappointing. But still have a few more packs. So all right. Ekblad, Lewis, Latang, another World Junior Grads of Austin Matthews, class of 16. Very nice. Continuing on with the rest of our pack here Schwartz, Shuskin, uh, Ryan O'Reilly, and Trevor Zagross. All right. Next pack up here. Okay. All 
We got Mikhail Graylin, Latang, Trevor Lewis, and we get a UD rookie portraits of Dylan Gunther, Arizona Coyotes. One of the more sought after young guns here. One that uh, you're, you would hope to pull here within this series, one of the top ones at least. So, But we end up getting his UD port rookie portraits card there, so we'll take it. Continue on with Everly, Schmidt, uh, let's see here, and Twistle, and Reinhardt. Next pack up. Three more packs to go, guys. Yeah, this box is not looking very good. Not very good at all. Hopefully something might come along here and save it, but... I really doubt it here, but we got Greenway, Horvat, we got the checklist, base checklist that is, Jeremy Swayman. Oh, we get our, what is this, red rainbow foil uh, honor roll card here of Nicholas Bruzier. So that is your one red rainbow variation card here that comes along with, uh, was it at least the target um, mega boxes here. So very cool card take that. Continue on here, we got Michael Bunting, Genny Kuznetsov, ending off with Shabbat. Okay, two more packs to go. Anything else we can pull from these before ending off the video? Okay, upside down. All right, Jordan Greenway. Kenny Malkin, we got uh, Lar. Oh, we get one of those uh, welcome to um, inserts here with the Columbus Blue Jackets. Looks like a postcard. Very interesting insert, to say the least. Not sure I really feel about these, but I guess they're okay. Continuing on here, we got Eklund, uh, Matthew Joseph. Let's see here, Andre Vasilevsky ending off with Keegan Kolsar. Last pack mojo, guys. Anything else we can get here before ending things off? Anything that can kind of save this box, because you know, the two young guns we pulled here weren't the greatest, to say the least. So, all right. All right, we got Nyquist again. Ladder again. Getting Melkin. Oh, we do get a sec or a third young gun card here. It's oh yeah, all right. <laughs> Speaking of saving the box, holy smoke, ending up with one of the best uh, young guns you would probably pull out of here with the Shane Wright. Excellent. Wow, what a last hit mojo pack here. Most excellent. Most excellent indeed. Corners look pretty good, I would say. Yeah, I mean, not too bad at all. It looks uh, pretty pretty polished there, so very nice. So we end up with one of the best uh, best young guns you could probably pull out of this uh, out of this thing here. Um, besides probably Slurikovsky. Uh, uh, yeah, Shane Wright, I think he was around $40, $45 dollar young gun. Uh, 19 years old. Uh, former first round, fourth pick overall in 2022. Amateur projection has been pretty stellar so far. Um, definitely will will be, um, you know, heading up more to the main club here probably next year. Uh, Seattle's doing really well these playoffs. I mean, they're already in the second round. Uh, won their game last night by a pretty uh, big margin there. So, yeah, th um, you know, big things from him hopefully to come. So, excellent, excellent pull here. Might as well go ahead here and get this uh, sleeved up while I have everything in my grasp. Yeah, this looks pretty solid. This might be gradable, so... There we go, guys. Last pack mojo for you. How about that? We end up with Shane right there. Very nice. All right, so I'll stack him along with the... Other young guns there. That was uh, 
That definitely saved things right there with this box. <laughs> That's awesome. So ending off the pack here, since I have a few more cards to pull there, we got uh, Leon Dreisaitl, Richie, Marsha Salt, ending off with Hornquist. So all in all, man, that last pack uh, mojo with the young gun there with Shane Wright saved things there and uh, made uh, the box uh, pretty awesome. So... Man, that's great. <laughs> Let's go ahead and summarize everything real quick and then uh, end off the video here. So our rookie class cards, uh, we ended up with, um, let's see here, Jack Quinn, Brant Clark, and Wyatt Johnson, all of them the standard base variations. And then our standard hits we got in this box here, we got this... Um, Welcome to Columbus. We have a superstar honorable red foil rainbow card here of Nicholas Abruzier. We got a UD Portrait Circus card of Dylan Gunther. We got a World Junior Grads of Austin Matthews. A World Junior Grads of Philip Forsberg. A UD Canvas card of Artemi Panarin. And a superstar honorable of Matt Sogard. Excuse me. And then our Young Guns hits. We got. Uh, the first standard, uh, t or first two we got here were, we got uh, Cole Reinhardt, we got Nick uh, Perbix, and then our big one at the very end of the video, we got a Shane Wright Young Guns pull there. A very excellent one indeed. Again, this looks pretty stellar too. Not too bad. Maybe a little bit of etching along there. Now I'm looking a little bit closer, but... Other than that, the corners look pretty solid. Everything else looks pretty good. Like I said, this looks like a pretty gradable card here. So, excellent pool there. Um, just all around, this box uh, really took a took a turn there for the better. So, really happy about that. But yeah, um, hopefully I'll have some more content with, for you guys here in the future. But in the meantime, uh, that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's session. Please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Leave me all your comments down below. Thank you as always for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.